All right, I got a how-to video here. Haven't done one of these in a while. I used to do, um, do them more often, a little short on free time now. Uh, but we're taking a look at Outlier. This is a relatively new site. I didn't even know about it until about a few months ago. Prop Beaver loves this thing. Really useful tool, a lot of valuable data on here. And you could use it for anything. I think it's most popularly used for player props, but you they, they have trends on there for money line spreads, totals, all that. So the site's broken down into three sections and each section can be used to find some plays. But I'm gonna start with the trend section because that's what I think sets this website apart from its competitors. So right on the top here, you can see there's multiple sports. Uh, we're gonna focus on NFL for this one because I feel like it's the sport people are most familiar with, but they have all kinds of options on here. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see both players and team trends. I'm going to dig deep because I found one I liked earlier that I wanted to use for this video. As you can see, Steelers Insight states they're 2-9-1 against the spread at home off a win in their last 12 in that spot. Uh, casting at just a disgusting 16.7% rate. In the right corner, they will show you where to get the best odds for that bet. So Jags minus 2.5. Uh, that's their opponent this weekend. If you like that trend, click the box and it adds the plays right to your picks. But let's say we want to find some more. Let's scroll down here at some player prop insight. And look right below it, Russell Wilson. Insight states Russell Wilson has exceeded 18.5 rushing yards in 7 of his last 10 games at home against top 10 scoring defenses. You can see right here by these boxes, 7 are green and 3 are red. 70% uh, represents the cash rate of this bet. Seems like Russell Wilson likes to depend on his legs against tougher defensive competition. So let's click on the bottom part of that and dive a little deeper in this one. Uh, if we click on each filter, you can see Russell Wilson's hit rate over the last five games, last 10 games, previous matchup, 2023, 2022, they have everything. Uh, so let's click on this season. We can see he's on a little bit of a hot streak here using his legs. He's cashed three straight, including four of the last six. And if we use the sliders drop down, we can filter to strictly home games where he's three and one or games with Jerry Judy on the field where he's four and two, or games where they lost by eight plus where he's two and one. The last slider I did was based on the current point spread. But now let's look at this bet from a different angle. So let's clear those sliders. Uh, we wanna look at Russell Wilson's recent history against the Kansas City Chiefs. In three matchups against Kansas City, headed back to 2022, Russell Wilson is three and oh to the over, smoking the line in all three. If you scroll down, you could see some supporting stats that'll help you make your final decision. Rushing plays, rush attempts, rush share, average archer attempt, and more, all kinds of stuff down there uh, when we click on the rush attempts category we could see he had four plus in each of these games click back to the 2023 chart and we can use the supporting stats to see his cash rate with that type of volume on the ground using both charts we could see that russell wilson is three and one to the over with four plus attempts and if we use his season average of rushing yards per attempt which is 7.1 and we're projecting four rushing attempts that's over 28 yards rushing eight yards over the total you can see on the right side there's even more tools to help you zero in on this bet uh kansas city's run defense a matchup summary record versus common opponents and team rankings for this season so let's switch it up and look at kansas city's defensive rankings uh numbers that stand out to me here are qb hits qb hurries both top eight in the league with that type of pressure it should lead to even more scramble opportunities for russell wilson a plus for our over bet so i've seen all i need to see i like russell wilson's rushing over here so let's lock it in by clicking add to my picks button and it is now part of our ticket now let's move on to the second section of outlier you can use to find bets uh it's called games so the one I'm looking to bet this weekend is, let's say we're looking at Rams at Cowboys. So let's click on the public betting drop down here. You can show the percentage of bets and money for the money line spread and total. It seems like everybody likes the Cowboys here with both the money and the bets coming in on Dallas. If we click on match details, we can look further into the data for this game. There's game lines, player props, team props, and even game props for us to look at. We already got our Russell Wilson prop locked in. So for this example, I'm going to look to bet a game spread. Uh, as you can see, Rams plus four and a half has six bars filled in green with 60% next to it. That means the Rams would have covered plus four and a half in six of their last 10 games, 60% hit rate. If we click on the bar, it opens up a table similar to the prop section. Uh, we can see the cover rates for both the four and a half point spread set in this game and the point spread set in their previous games as well. As you can see in the Rams box, they're five, three, and two against the spread in their last 10, but they've covered plus four and a half in six of those 10, as I mentioned earlier. So let's filter it to just this season. And we can see that the Rams have covered plus four and a half at a 57% rate of their seven games. So four out of seven. Now this one's on the road in Dallas. So let's click on the away box to see how the Rams have performed against the spread on the road. You can see they would have covered plus four and a half at a hundred percent rate and they're 67 percent against the spread on the road so far this season if you look on the right here you see two useful boxes the first one's line movement and this one's huge if you watch my channel you know i love that kind of stuff uh this line moved from six earlier in the week to four and a half despite the money in the bets coming in on dallas uh seems like the books like la the other box is record versus common opponent in which the details of their matchups versus arizona and san francisco cowboys lost both of those games handedly while the rams dominated and kept the other one close 
I think this game may be more competitive than most people think. You can also look at these very same charts with Dallas as well. Total, alternate spread, win margin, alternate total, and more. Uh, so let's play it sharp and let's add LA plus four and a half to our ticket. Now let's get to the third section of outlier. It's called props. Uh, and I like to think of this as the quickest way to find good value on bets. Uh, if you have time to take a deeper look, I recommend going to the insights or the games pages. But if you don't have a ton of time and you just need to find something quick, I would go right to the prop section. Up top, you can filter bets by prop type, players, over, under, minimum odds, any of that. Once you filter it to the category you're looking for, you can then sort the bets by hit rate, last five games, last 10 games, head-to-head -head matchups, this season, last season. I mean, there's tons of options here. So let's say I want a passing touchdowns play with minus 120 or better odds. I'll click on passing touchdowns in the prop filter, type in minus 120 for the minimum minimum odds filter and there it is third result Dak Prescott under one and a half passing touchdowns with his best odds listed at minus 108 on FanDuel you can see on the opponent rank column that this is a brutal matchup for Dak Prescott LA allows the fewest pass touchdowns per game this season add in the fact that this bet is cashed in four of his last five games seven of his last 10 games and 83 percent of the games this season sounds like good value so we found that pretty quickly Dak Prescott under one and a half pass touchdowns now here's the best part once you're done with all your work on outlier you could go right to your cart like you're shopping on amazon and you can check out right here shows you where the best odds are and you can place the bets right from this screen if you link your sports books up just click continue and it heads directly to DraftKings where you can log in and place your bets so if you're looking for a one-stop shop where you could do all your research line up your bets and place them all from the same spot uh outlier is a really good suggestion for that thanks for watching i'll put a link to outlier in the description of this video but i'm not an affiliate or anything you can just type outlier into google um like i said it's relatively new not a lot of people know about it so go ahead check it out uh let me know what you think